welcome back. So my video for today is going to be a date night makeup look. And yes, I actually have a date tonight with my husband. So um, I'm going to make this really quick. This is going to be another two-part video. So I'll be posting separately the application. And this is the review part. And here are the goodies that I used tonight. So let's get started. Okay. So what I used today for um, priming and moisturizing my face is this. This is from the Body Shop. It's from their Vitamin C line. It is the Instant Glow Enhancer. Now, um, this is promoted more as a skincare um, regimen, or rather skincare product regimen. This is promoted as a skincare product um, um, and then instructions and ingredients side you know the sticky thingy there um they say that it's um used every morning it's advised to be used every morning to help moisturize and bring back the glow in your skin but um i i use it as a moisturizer slash primer because it just it has that feeling and where my my skin just stretches i don't know i guess that's how botox feels but yeah and it does bring glow back into my skin so i actually do use it when say i'm rushing out to the grocery or i need to pay bills so it's it's really just something that gives back glow in your skin but it works really really great as primer and they also have in this line um a primer but i actually like this better for some reason the primer is nothing special and this works better and i'm really really happy with it um this is actually my third one <laughs> already um it is 25 ml and this retails for 1495 but it does go on sale i've seen it go on sale for a for twice already um i bought it once on sale i got it for 500 pesos but yeah when you run out of it it usually is at the real retail price of 1495 i know it's a little expensive but um you really just gotta you know um, wait and watch for those super sales that the body shop always has anyway um, it's Christmas season but hey you might s see it on sale um, and next for my lovely night tonight um, I this is my all-time favorite I do have a couple of foundations and BB creams but I always keep coming back to this um, especially if you know I, I don't want to think about okay what should I be pairing up tonight but this one is just really wonderful it's the Milani conceal plus perfect um, two-in-one foundation and concealer I'm in the shade creamy vanilla yes um, zero one um, the Milani line actually has like dark tones um, I don't know why I really want to find out so I will research on this unlike other foundations are out there so the zero one is the lightest shade but it's actually like um, it has an undertone of yellow and as you can see it really just you know it's it's really perfect to my skin tone and I, I super love it um, I, I don't need to put concealer when I'm using this it, I, I'm, I'm happy it does a really good job on concealing my dark under eyes I mean it's not like super concealed but I mean it's doing a great job so especially if you're in a rush and you just want to have that perfect flawless skin look I love this I, I, I recommend this um, some reviews that I've read said that it's more on the oily side um after it sets it really just gives you like a glowy kind of shine but i think it's really just a matter of um finding the perfect powder to match it with and i did i i found the perfect powder so since we're stepping into that realm um the powder that i used to set um for tonight was uh the speed white powder pack by Ka kathy doll um here you go that's what it looks like i am in this shade natural beige 
Um, Kathy doll um, is actually you, you, you can see a lot of stalls in the malls, but it's usually skincare. Uh, me and my sister were just really um, lucky enough to I, I think it was in a Gaisano um, mall in where um, inside the department store and they had like a makeup line. I'm, I, I, I so wish that in their stalls in the malls, I think in mega malls where I first saw them. I hope they, you know, introduce their makeup line. This powder is really, 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 it's it's my favorite right now. I, I use it a lot, and I wish I bought a backup. I really do. So it helps mattify the Milani and other foundations that I do have that aren't really matte towards the matte side. So I really, really love this. And it also has... SPF 40 in it so if you're you're like using foundation that doesn't have any protection and you know that you're gonna be in the Sun I say um, look for a powder or um, that actually has SPF in it and this has SPF 40 so I'm happy with that it's gonna protect my skin and um, it has really really good coverage as you can see there Okay, um, the next one um, that I use would be probably for contour, brush, and uh, brush, contour and blush. I'm sorry, I'm 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 for some reason uh, tearing up. Okay, next, calm down, Franny. <laughs> okay, next is this is my favorite um, travel set. Actually, it's from the balm in the balm of your hand clever right um so it, it it's complete it has eyeshadows in it but this isn't what i used for tonight it has um bahama mama which is um one of my favorite contours um one of my favorite um powders to use for contouring and then they have instant and cabana boy and hot mama for blushes and then they have Mary Lou Manizer for highlighting, which is really great. And here they also have two lippies. It's um, Apples Caramel and starring Avec Mi Amour. There you go. I, I haven't actually used the, these two yet. Um, I don't know when, but I'm going to get around to it. So there, um, I used Bahama Mama and Cabana Boy for my blush and contour. Um, and then I used Mary Luminizer for my highlighting, as you can see. I really, really like this. Um, these are my three favorites, actually, to use. It's like when I don't want my brain to function, and um, this is kind of like my comfort zone. Um makeup to use actually everything that i use usually for date night with my husband is because he he has this this plan looked already in his head that you know um what really fits me and this is basically it and i i have all of this, this is my like automatic go-to's there it's um i i i believe this retails for two thousand pesos um i bought this in the beauty bar so um everything is there so i think 2000 pesos is not too bad and it it it, it it's like a booklet you, you know you just put it in your bag so it's travel friendly that's that's why i can say i really love it and then um eyeshadow so for my eyeshadow it's really simple i just use two colors um and it's coming from um, the set from Too Faced, Sweet Peach. This is actually um, new. Um, I've only used it twice, and that would be um, tonight. So, uh, falls there on <laughs> on my statement on everything. This is actually, yes, um, new. But I do usually use the eyeshadows here. Um, so, this one, what I used tonight, would be summer yum and peaches cream so it's really basic really quick and i think it it really helps just um you know pop my eyes out and give me a good um sultry look so there 
And then, um, to make my eyes seem a little more wider, alive, and awake, um, what I use is my all-time favorite from Smashbox. It's um, their waterproof um, coal liner. I actually have like five pieces of this. Where is that box? Yeah, I got this when Smashbox went on sale. There you go. Oh my gosh. So this actually retails for one of these is a thousand one one thousand one hundred fifty. I know for a liner. Yeah, that's pretty expensive. So, um. I have here the set of five. It's Smashbox on the Rocks Always Sharp Liner Set. It retails at, um, for the set is 2250 but I actually got it on sale as well. So I got it for like 1650 for all five. So imagine that. It's like, you know, you paid like extra 500 pesos to get four more. So there, and I really like the colors. There's gray, blue, black, and purple, and then brown. So I use, I, I really like brown liners better for some reason. So that's what I use for lining tonight. It's really smudge proof. Um, it's easy to apply. Um, you'll see on my application video um, that I really didn't struggle that much. And um, it, when you try to blend it out just to smudge it out a little bit so that it really goes well with your eyeshadow it looks it looks really good as well so there okay mm -hmm. and then um what i used for my mascara is um uh, my husband actually isn't like a big fan of false lashes he likes it more on the natural side and i do too because you know for me, like, I, I'm actually still struggling with put it, applying false lashes to myself. I mean, I can apply it to other people, but to myself, I'm still struggling. So, um, what I used um, for my lashes tonight is the Ido Classic Mascara. I know um, I did this in my 500 peso challenge, and I'm actually using it for you know my looks. It it really gives me length and volume, and then um, my other all-time favorite mascara would be cover girl by cover girl it's the clump crusher so this one is a combo is really nice i use this as well for my um lashes here so there you go so i mean it gives you that it gives you longer looking lashes it's also waterproof it's not hard to um take off like after and you don't need like some heavy duty um what do you call this um makeup remover it comes off really easily even um i even use i even just use um toner actually when i'm toning so it just comes off with that sometimes i don't need to use makeup remover anyway so these two for me um really do a good job um before this i used to use a mascara from k palette and for me the results are quite similar and the price are cool like really really different so 50 pesos versus like i think that was like 800 or 900 pesos so yeah so this is a good combo for me and then um what i use for my brows are actually two things the other one where is it Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> so what I use for my brows are two items. Um, I have here from Pure Recipe. Um, it's it's like a makeup brand for children in Japan. So my sister brought this home for me. It's um it's in the shade brown, but it's kind of it kind of like has a reddish brown tone to it, and it's really nice and it helps like just set the hairs on my brows and i actually did also a review on this um by wet and wild i don't know how much this retails for so um when i find out i will just add it in the description below 
Um, and then this is from Wet and Wild, the um, color icon brow pencil. You can watch my 500 peso makeup challenge to um, find out more about this. But yeah, this is um, ever since I bought it, it's it it's really like it's awesome, especially with my hair color now. So um, it's I, again, it's in the shade brunettes do it better. Brunettes do it better. <laughs> okay, so there, and then what am I missing? Um, oh yeah, lips. So yeah, um, actually have two Mac products today. Um, that I use by the end of it, my Mac um, Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color in the shade Back in Vogue. That's what I'm wearing right there. And then to help set and you know make sure that everything stays in place and the color is just amazing, I use my Prep and Prime by Mac. So yeah, I actually use it to set everything and. It just looks like you know a second layer of skin by the end of it, so it takes out that like powdery, um, I don't know how do you call it, like powdery look. There you go, like powdery look, and it just makes it look more like you know you didn't put like a lot, I guess. <laughs> and it really smells awesome. I like the smell of it, and I I just like the f feeling on my face. So yeah, these are like. Um, two Mac awesome finds. So this, uh, I forgot. Th I think this is a thousand. Yeah, this is a thousand pesos, and this one is one thousand two hundred fifty pesos. So there. Um, you can find it in any Mac stores. Um, I bought this in Glorieta. I think I believe. Yeah. So there. And um, I guess last but not the least would be my brushes. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> my brushes. Here are the brushes. So they're from different brands. <coughs> so they're from different brands, like I said. Um, two are from Real Techniques. Um, one is from Sigma. One is from e.l.f. And two are actually no brand names, but they actually do better than the branded names that I do have. Like, um, oh, I had a Kabuki brush by Echo Tools, but I like this better. And then the sponge um, that I use today is by Real Techniques as well. I really, really like this. My sister introduced this to me, and after she introduced this to me, the Beauty Blender just, you, like, beauty blender who that's what happened so <laughs> i really really like this i like the flat surface um if you guys are like into baking this really helps as well and um i actually have this by bobby brown and it's a fan brush i don't actually use it like for what the purpose of like highlighting i actually use it for like sweeping yeah so, um, in my application video, you'll actually see how, you know, I really just, um, or rather the coordination of how I put and apply my makeup. It my it, it's actually different from how people do it. Like a lot, a lot of people just do the eyes first and then, um, the face last, like the eyes and the eyebrows. But I actually do it opposite I do my my foundation routine and priming routine first and then I do my eyes last and my actually my eyebrows last so um yeah there um I hope um my review was helpful to you girls I hope that you try these products because these products are really good and I think they would last you you know a, a good amount of time if um these would be your only products that you're playing around with um, I know they're a little pricey, but um, they're really good for the price, um, and they're um, travel they're travel friendly. That's um, that's what I like about them as well. So I can just stick them in my bag and it won't be too bulky, um, except for the setting spray, pretty big. So 
so yeah um i hope you enjoyed let me know what type of videos what else videos or what other looks you would like to see from me and i'd be more than happy to do them so there i hope you like my date night makeup look